question. He says, is this permissible to construct tombs over graves? If not, then why Prophet's tomb sallallahu alayhi wasallam, is not demolished yet? And when I read this question, I felt that the shiver down my spine. How would any Muslim think of destroying the Prophet's grave, alayhi salatu wasallam? Anyone thinking of this is not a Muslim. And the question is usually repeatedly asked, not for knowing what is right or wrong, but unfortunately to justify the wrong shrines, the wrong tombs, the dargahs, and all these grave worshippers' actions. So they want to justify why do we have tombs in Al Najaf, in Karbala, in Qum, where all these Shias have these places where they worship, literally worship those who have died in there, and they uh, consider that to be a form of worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. And why do we have tombs in over graves in Al Hussein, for, for example, in Egypt, in Syria, and in Iraq? He is divided over three continents and, and countries, subhanAllah. All of this is nonsense and fabrications. So they want to justify going there and sending petitions and writing papers, oh, uh, Atijani or Jilani or my Badawi, do this and that for me, make, make my wife pregnant. Uh, pay off my debts, do this and that. So all of these are acts of shirk, of associating others with Allah Azza wa because no one can answer your calls except Allah. And calling the dead is a form of shirk, no doubt in that. So when they want to justify and legitimize their actions, they say, ah, okay, look at the tomb of the Prophet ﷺ. First of all, the Prophet ﷺ, by the consensus of all Muslims, was not buried in the masjid. Everybody knows this, even the youngsters in the street. They would tell you, who, who have knowledge in the seerah, that the Prophet ﷺ was buried in the house of Aisha, which, which was outside of the masjid. 90 or 100 years later after his burial, one of the Umayyad uh, Caliph expanded the masjid and he included the house of Aisha. And all the tabi'een stood firm against this, but he would not listen as all rulers do. They do not listen to the scholars. They do not listen to the laymen. They do not listen to the people. So he included it. And the scholars found that they have a dilemma now. The, 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 the grave is there and you cannot dig the Prophet out. So they built the chamber to be as a triangle with the tip, tip of the triangle pointing to those who are facing the Qibla. So you cannot be facing the chamber like this, you have to either face it like this or like that, and in this way you would not be facing the Qibla at the same time. And they had to protect it because there were a number of attempts to uh, uh, abuse the grave and vandalize it. And people were trying to dig tunnels under the, the, the masjid in order to reach the uh, chamber and vandalize the Prophet's grave وسلم, and his companions Abu Bakr. And Umar, and, and this is, was the only way to protect it is by building this chamber and by putting steel foundations real deep down in the earth so that no one could reach it. So there is no comparison, none whatsoever, Brother Mirza. And I hope this answers your question.